bears roaming around the streets actually trying to eat us. So, we don't care about your copyright issues, and they're not applicable here. <laughs> we sent maps showing this is Sweden, this is US, your bombs are not long enough, you know, and uh, they didn't know how to respond back to us. So they kind of started first ignoring us, um, and that didn't really work, because we were quite funny. And we got a lot of attention from the media, and people sent links to the Pirate Bay all over, and started using the service, not because it was good, because it was there, it was the only option. This is one of my favorite uh, letters. Uh, it's from a German company called Limitype. They sell fonts that you use in your office uh, programs. And they especially own one uh, very famous one, it's called Helvetica, uh, which is, even has its own documentary film. Uh, and they sent uh, this letter saying that you have to stop letting people share the, uh, the fonts that we own. And we're not, we don't actually have the content, it's between people. So we just said, no, we're not going to do anything like that. And uh, they kept sending these letters, and in the end, we got this one, uh, together with another one that said, uh, here's a contract you have to sign. You have to pay us 25,000 euros in, in damages, and you have to sign this contract saying you will never let people share our files again. So we were thinking, how could we respond to this? And so we just reversed the whole uh, letter they sent and said, you have to pay us $25,000 for being stupid. Uh, you have to sign this contract to never again send frivolous emails to us. And to make it a bit better, we used all of their fonts in the letter. <laughs> <laughs> sending funny things like this, you don't get a reply because they don't know how to reply. <laughs> and all of these are also published on the Parker website, so you can go and read all of them. And there's a lot, and they're quite funny. <laughs> Parker grew and grew, and uh, I'm not going to go into the political thing too much. Um, there was a big raid, the US government was quite upset, and uh, actually Hollywood went to the US government, told the White House to invite the Swedish Minister of Justice, he went over there, he said, yes, I'll do whatever you say because we don't want to have this trade ban that you're talking about. Uh, so they did a big raid and people were quite upset and uh, we went up in court and we're still in court and blah blah blah, it's not very interesting. Here's the Pirate Party, which is much more interesting. Uh, the Pirate Party was founded, uh, I think in 2006, as a response to all of these fashion issues that were being uh, spoken about. And in just a couple of years, they've ended up uh, as one of the biggest political parties in Sweden. We have a representative here somewhere. Uh, and yeah, in the back. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to have the, the numbers correct here. But it, it became so big because of all of these issues that we were raising about fashion. Why is it good and why is it bad? It's not bad at all. Um, so in the European Union Parliament election, they ended up getting, I think, 7.2% of all the votes in Sweden ending up with two people in Parliament and joining the Green Group saying that the Green Group has to uh, vote as we do when it comes to all of our issues and we'll vote as the Green Group. So in essence, I think 20% of the European Union Parliament actually votes as the Pirate Party, which is based on, coming back to it, the things we did once upon a time. And other things that happen is that we've become a bit more political ourselves. Here's me with one of my friends. Uh, his name is Lula, he's the president of Brazil. Uh, I met him in the summer and uh, at the conference and he came to me and gave me a big hug and he said, you know, we don't have an exhibition to in Sweden. So, you know, if you have a problem, you can live in Brazil, we won't give it back to Sweden. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm very fond of Brazil. It's a nice country, very warm, a good president. Uh, and, you know, a lot of things that we're always invited to, to places to speak and talk about these issues. And we don't really care if you end up saying, you know, it's good or bad, we just want everybody to talk about it. And uh, we believe it's good, but we want you to find out for yourself. And all of these things are not really about just, you know, the freedom of having a file for free or something, or a song for free. It's more about evolving um, the concept of what you actually get when you're interested in culture. So for instance, there are some really clever record labels in Sweden that said, we're not really against fashion. We think we can make money from this. And instead of actually selling their CDs, they do as well, but it's more like a collector's item. They started selling 
things like this. This is a music box that you can, you can buy. And it will play the song, which is a hit song from the artist, an artist called Motorboy. And he's becoming quite famous in Sweden. And they made much more money from this box than they ever made on CDs before. Because they were selling something which people actually wanted. And people don't want, uh, want the CD anymore. They want something else. So we're trying to push for kind of evolution to happen a bit more rapidly. And also, you know, it's not only about the things we think about today. This is one of the most interesting things that is coming out on the internet today. Is it's the rack wrap. It's a machine that actually allows you to print physical objects. So, uh, the other day, a friend of mine, he, he was really interested in getting some water, but he didn't have a glass. So, he downloaded one from the internet, and this is it. Uh, he printed it, just with plastic, and he can drink from it. And these are the laws that we actually talk about today, that, you know, in the future you will have a machine like this. This is 300 euros, I think, to buy. And the first thing you can do is to make a copy of, you can print a copy of the machine itself. And then you can start printing plastic things and soon uh, metals and so on. So, yeah, okay, so you probably know about this. But these are the things that we uh, are talking about, because the laws that affect intellectual property are also the laws affecting, you know, everything which is in the future. So, we're trying to have the bigger picture, which is not only what is happening today, but it's also what is going to happen tomorrow. Uh, and one of the projects that, that I'm involved in as well is, it's called Fatter. Uh, I put the logo in the bottom, which is stupid, I realize now. Um, but we did this, the project is based on the idea that something needs to change, nobody's going to change, so we have to push people to change. Um, so I came up with a concept, which is, Either stupid or very smart, I don't know, I don't care, because I'm going to try anyhow. Uh, but the idea is that instead of forcing people to pay every time they're interested in some digital content, why not just let them pay a small monthly fee, and then decide after they got the content that they like it. And if they like it, you know, a small portion of the fee will go to the creator in the end of the month. Um, could be called socialism or whatever, I'm totally for it. Um, but it, the, the idea here is to actually try and push change, which is what I want to do when I'm kind of an entrepreneur, because I think it's boring not to change, so I think the thing I want to say today is that if you want to do anything which uh, to make money or whatever, try to make it fun, try to make it change something which is bad today, and uh, this is what Flatter looks like, by the way, um, this is, it's like Dig, everybody knows Dig, probably, and uh, this is what we're trying to do. We're just trying to take a concept, which is quite, quite fine, and adjusting it a bit. With, let's dig with money. Uh, and it could be a revolutionary change or not. And I, I did prepare for 15 minutes before I came here, so sorry for the way to be speech. Thanks. Okay, you can fix the, the 